<laughs> What's up, y'all? Who had a good one? Whatever Memorial Day means to you, I hope it went well. This is Money Flippin' Matt Richards giving a shout as the weekend runs out. It's a big day for a lot of people, including us. That's right. Big old day. All over the United States, it's a day for both fun and remembrance. While the Northern Hemisphere transitions from spring to summer, and here at HQ, we're happy and sad as we go into transition as well. Tonight, our mission over the last 14 months to assist with the pandemic by keeping folks indoors and helping out a lot of overworked charities ends. We consider it successful. And we thank everybody, including you, who came along and helped out. Next on the docket is an all new chapter of HQ history with new features and new games and a lot of the same trivia action you love too. After tonight, the next time we see you will be Thursday. Okay, I hope you can make it. Thursday, babies. But tonight, of course, it's another gauntlet of grief as we run you through the latest 12 tough ones. Separate the wise wheat from the jump chafe chaff. Chaff? That's the stuff you can't, yeah. And reward the elites with their cut of the $5,000 prize pot. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> oh. And don't forget, the VIP ticket will make you eligible for a big cut of the $1,250 VIP pot. We only need to sell 75, and there's already 68 players in the VIP right now. Sales stop at 125, so don't dilly dally, babies. Get on in there. Bet on your brain. Yes. It could pay off big. Who knows? Okay, we're definitely doing VIP. With all that taken care of, I think it's time to roll out this barrel and see who pokers to it. So screw on that brain tight. Focus your attention once more. And now there's nothing to it but to HQ it. Wait, but first, there's a, you know, big changes coming, okay? Some stuff stays the same, questions start easy, they quickly get harder than that chicken breast in the back of your freezer from 2016. You can throw it up. Stay sharp, and now there's nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's go! <laughs> Which of these is regarded as indigenous cuisine of the United States? Bashbamak, cornbread, or cowpat? All right, diversity of menu is one of the best things in the U.S., but if you're feeling like uh, really eating locally, grab some cornbread. But the North and South recipes are different, I will say that. 35,613 players got that one right. The cornbread, baby! Ooh -wee. Question number two. What religion scriptures do not include the book of Genesis? Christianity, Islam, or Judaism? One way or another, we all ended up here, okay? But there's a little bit of difference in the Islamic account. Some think Islam's story evokes the Big Bang. 33,677 players got that right. Islam is the answer we were looking for. No book of Genesis there. Q3! Which of these audio players is newest? iPod, Talkboy, or Walkman? The iPod, Talkboy, or the Walkman? The Walkman. <laughs> All right, this was a hot item of the 80s, the Walkman, and the Talkboy was the voice changer recorder used at, uh, was in Home Alone, remember that? That was 30 years ago. But it's coming up on 20 years since the iPod really changed the game. 1,000 songs in your pocket was crazy talk. 31,656 got it right. Good job, babies. At Q3, rolling right along to question number four, which is knocking at your door. Disney's Cruella cites what author in its credits? Eve Titus, Dottie Smith, or P.L. Travers. Disney always tries to claim famous stories as their own. Who thinks of J.M. Barry when they hear Tinkerbell, hmm? But they do shout out Cruella's creator by acknowledging the original book by Dottie Smith. Boom! Don't ask about the sequel book, though. 20,398 players got it right. Good job, babies. Good job, indeed. Oh, all right now. Question number five for the children. 
Okay. Which of these countries has a Mediterranean coastline? Bosnia and Herzegovina? Let's say they write us off. Jordan or Portugal? <laughs> Dodi? What did I say? I said Dodi. And then I said Dotty to cover my bases. If I don't know the name, I'm gonna say it every way I think it's pronounced. Right? Like Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herz, Herzegovina. Cool. I'm glad y'all got that right, because I might not have. 17,547 got it right. Shout out to Dodie Smith, yo. Yeah. All right, question number six. And it goes a little something like this. In ancient Greece, what was not generally a core part of a liberal arts education? Grammar, literature, or rhetoric? Seven subjects were the curriculum at the old Greek schools, but no need to worry if you forgot your books. Literature wasn't a subject. It was so long ago they were educating the people they needed to write the literature. 16,500 of y'all got that right. Good job. In it to win it. The VIP is on and popping. Question number seven. Let's go. Which of these characters is portrayed in One Night in Miami? Martin Luther King Jr., Otis Redding, or Sam Cooke? Okay, four legends in one room, and apparently it really happened. Though the film mostly guesses at what they said. Supposedly, it was Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown, Malcolm X, and Sam Cooke. I would love to be a fly on that wall, hear what they were talking about. Sam Cooke is the answer, y'all. 16,660 players got that right. There's no stumping y'all tonight. Already a Q7. Not a savage question at all yet. But hold on to your butts. Question number eight. No, you're feeling great. Woo! Q8, which of these series has an ending where a dog is behind the entire plot? Mega Man, Resident Evil, or Silent Hill? All right, game designers can get wacky sometimes, but games are supposed to be a little out there. So it shouldn't be that shocking that Silent Hill 2 has an ending with an evil dog. Yeah. It's one of many possible endings, but still creepy. 15,448 players got that right. Silent Hill, y'all. For real, y'all. Yeah. All right, question number nine. Let's get it. Whose Major League Baseball team has a mascot with the same letter three consecutive times in its name? Detroit, Kansas City, or Tampa Bay? Okie dokie. Sloppy spelling will not keep you out of the Mascot Hall of Fame because only six Major League Baseball mascots have made the cut. And one of them is Slugger, with three R's. Yeah, the lion mascot of the Kansas City Royals. Weird heads are also not disqualifying. <laughs> it's very lumpy. 8,134 players got that right. Almost savage, not quite. A lot of extra lives just got used anyway, though. Q10, my friends. Time to get it in. Stars by which name features the least in the constellation of Gemini? Castor, Pollux, or Gem? The twins these stars are named for are the mythical Castor and Pollux. Castor is actually a system of, uh, of six stars, and it actually takes hundreds of stars to form Geminorum, or Gem for short. Yeah, Pollux is the answer there, babies. 8,051 players got that one right. All right, two more questions till we find out who's getting this money from the flipper. Let's go, Q11, all dogs go to heaven. Who was never officially Saturday Night Live's musical director? Paul Schaefer, Howard Shore, or G.E. Smith? All right, he played piano in a lot of sketches, but keyboard genius Paul Schaefer was never the director of SNL's band. 
And in 1986, he became the only band member to return as host. Paul Schaefer, y'all. 7,193 players got that right. That means 7,193 of y'all are moving on to the final question of the game. Still got 41 players in the VIP. That's what I'm talking about. Question 12 for all the marbles. And the last game until Thursday. Cool beans. Richard Nixon wrongly believed his Oval Office desk had been used by the enactor of what program? The New Deal, the New Freedom, or the New Nationalism? What's it gonna be? Alrighty, based on its name, Nixon figured a former president had used the desk. Turned out, no. So they spread the also false story. It was named for Vice President Henry Wilson. Either way, it had no connection to Woodrow Wilson's new freedom program. If you pick the new freedom, you just won HQ Trivia. That's savage. Let's go. Oh yeah. 2,257 winners of HQ, baby. Closing out Memorial Day weekend in a real way with some big money for the HQ deal. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to everybody that got into VIP. Mordo One, MZ Poo, Unfasten, Ben Sweetra, L Nip 2006, Buckeyes, Uncle Ron, Cyber God, Lang Louie, <laughs> Janie Poo, Saint Ho, Philip. Uh, that's like $113 going out to our VIP winners, $2.23 going out to all our regular winners. It's crazy. So crazy. Once again, the cream rises to the top. Another amazing job by all winners, and we're grateful to everyone who showed up. Don't forget, we'll be doing this again on Thursday as the next phase of HQ begins. I hope to see you there. I hope the remaining hours of Memorial Day weekend are great ones for you. And HQ, as always, salutes all of our armed forces and honors our fallen heroes. Lastly, it has been an amazing ride since we first returned to operations on March 29th, 2020. We then did like 398 more regular trivia shows. And tonight was number 400. We've enjoyed it all. I've enjoyed it all. I've enjoyed all of you. And we thank you so much for being here. So I'll, uh, I'll see you Thursday. Peace. <laughs>